EMP share. You have clearance for final approach. EMP share. You have been assigned to Tycoon Tucker Bay. Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Chapter 2 of Ixion. I'm Commander Exorcist, and when we last left uh, the Tycoon, we were experiencing a serious resource problem. And so, in the interest of disclosure, I'm going to talk a little bit before we get started about what I have done with the game. So I broke a little. I broke one of my rules when doing a playthrough. Uh, my one of my rules is to show all the movements, all the button presses, and really not cut anything out. However, this particular playthrough has me worried. And one of the things I was concerned about is us sitting here for an extended amount of time, watching resources be produced and spread out um, across you know the map without really being able to do anything about it. And so what I did is I actually played this game for about 90 minutes. So the equivalent of what would be three episodes of this show to get the resource problem under control. And so I want to show you a little bit about what I did during that time because we really we didn't advance the story at all. Focused. I pretty much what you're looking at right now, this is what I stared at for about 90 solid minutes trying to get our resources together. So we built an electronics factory, we built a polymer refinery, and we finalized our colonization training center, and we trained some colonists. So what has happened as a result? Oh, and the best part is that we built a docking bay over here so that we can have a second cargo ship that will hopefully help to reduce our resource problem because our biggest resource issue at the moment is alloys we have an abundance of ferrite at the moment we didn't before that was part of the issue so for about 90 minutes I sat and watched 35 ferrite be delivered and then chewed up between the uh, steel mill here and repairs on both sides and then trying to build it would it would deliver like four out of the 110 that this needs. Now we've got a problem because here's the, the issue. Has completed its scan. We are we have spent too much time in this system. Um, the that earth sickness that we dealt with in the first chapter is getting worse, and so there is a negative attitude, and our trust is falling. It is at 69%. We have run out of cryogenic colonists, so or cryogenic workers, so we have D. We have we thought everybody out, so we don't have any more um, people to be able to put on the tycoon to put to work. So people are not happy in uh, in sector two. But what we're gonna do here to contribute to the stability? What does this mean? Oh, it needs 30. Whoops. Okay. So let's go back here. I don't care how much. Let's just keep two. And let's keep at least. We're not going to have a lot of these right now. Okay. So that should get us up to 30 on that. And um, we need to build. So let's build an alternative life center. This is like one of those um, virtual reality centers that people go to to remember home. So that's kind of what this is. I'm gonna put, a, put a road right here so we can connect it. So it's got to. Hopefully that'll bring us back up to deal with some of the uh, the negative effects that we're dealing with. Our hull is about 6.30. I think the lowest it got during the time that I was working to kind of balance the resources, it got down to about 4.80, which was really scary. 
um, that's when the trust started to really fall. But we've we've got a problem because we don't have enough workers. So our people are going to be overworked in Sector 2. Sector 1 is not looking good. We've got 55 non-workers in there. I don't know if that's people aging out of the workforce or what. I don't know if that's a mechanic in this game or not. However, let's go ahead and see what's happening over at DeVille 59. So we've got colonization testing establish a basic infrastructure yes okay which is good because now we have two ships that are bringing cargo um, to the tycoon so we're not going to our ship's not going to fall apart at the moment. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I, I played a little bit, and, and I, I promise you guys, I'm not lying, I literally sat here and just stared at this screen and would occasionally move resources between this. And it took about 90-some minutes. So, I mean, three episodes of me just staring at the screen, trying to narrate the movement of resources from Sector 1 to Sector 2 would have been mind-numbingly boring. Trust me, it was for me. But now that we've gotten past that and we can advance a little bit more in the story, I think it's time to uh, it's time to get back to it. So we've got our mining ship. So we have ferrite here. There's some over here, but fortunately we found quite a bit in the local area. So I don't think we're gonna have to uh, I don't think we're gonna have to do anything out here in the out here in the depths at the moment that I'm aware of. You know, this this playthrough one of the things that I one of the things I like about this game is like the sense of foreboding like this it's it's a hard game there's a lot of systems to manage there's a lot of resources there's a lot of different things that work together to build this cohesive system and like i had mentioned i probably you probably could sense the frustration in the previous episode about you know kind of the death spiral and that's really what i felt and that's kind of what i feel now um i don't feel confident about us being able to get to the next system. I don't know. We will see. But I think that's part of the experience. It's that sense of dread and, you know, are we going to be able to make it? Will we make it? Will we survive? Will the tycoon go down in flames? <laughs> um, let's turn off the construction here for now. I want to turn off the construction because, oh, you know what? I also messed up that, um, this is what I wanted to do. So let's leave one over there so they can move the silicon. Okay, finally, it's going to be placed into the factory so that we can get the electronic part we need for the, um, for the alternative life center that will help with the stability but see look how fast this thing is dropping I mean it just <laughs> every little thing it's like every little thing you do you stub your toe and the tycoon loses 40 hull points I just don't think it's a uh, I mean it's pretty it's an interesting design. I like it, but it doesn't seem very sturdy. <laughs> if, if this was real, like if we were really on board a station like this or a ship, we would find the nearest habitable, pl habitable planet and we would abandon this thing. We would leave it in space by itself because it is insane how difficult it is to keep this thing running.
And while we're waiting on those uh, resources to be delivered, so let's talk about what is our end game here. So the way this works is with playthroughs like this, I've never really done... This is this is a unique game. I don't think I've ever really done a game like this. Um, so the way this will work is there's obviously going to be a win or a loss. All integrity below 50%. Yeah. Oh, crap. What is going on here? We just don't have... Why are we... Okay. What is going on here? Let's see. We're not getting enough... Yeah, we're not getting enough in these sectors. So, let's make it five and five. I think that's what it is. It was off balance. So, if we lose, it's over. If we win, it's over. <laughs> I won't be restarting again. We'll get as far as we can. And then I, I strongly encourage you, if you get a chance, go out and pick this game up. It's a lot of fun. It's got, it's stressful, but it's a good, it's a good stress. I'm enjoying this. I enjoy the sense of, you know, this is, there's a real sense of danger here. We might not make it. And if we don't, that's okay. We tried our best. And that's kind of, I think that's the realistic uh, outcome for humanity in this situation. Okay, yeah, so that's what it was. It was, uh, we were off balance on our, uh, on our alloys. That's why we went to 11. The sector is being overworked. Yeah, I know we're being, yeah, we've got, we've got problems. Problems, big problems. It takes so long to get the hull back up to what we need, though. We got plenty of ferrite. What are we doing out here? Oh, only 33? Good lord. And... Okay. So our repairs are looking good. Hopefully we're getting some... Iron, is that what's being delivered? Nope, that's food that's being delivered. <laughs> Just like that, it's it's back down. So we're up to 600, that's good. That's a positive. Well, we were almost to 600. Well, my mistake. Oh, and we're dropping fast. Come on, guys. Where's our where's our alloys? Get those alloys to the stations. Okay. We need two steel mills, but yeah. we don't have enough resources to build one, unfortunately. Seven and some food. Okay, so that won't be taking any more of our alloys. That's a good thing. No more alloys for the colony. And we're going to be here. It's it's going to get bad. It's going to get bad here. Let's resume construction. I don't... I don't, we don't have a choice at this point. Where is... Where's that silicon, Pete? Where's that electronic that was generated? Was it spent on something? Your leadership is falling. Yeah, I'm sure. We're, <laughs> we're in dire straits at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it is looking bad for the Tycoon and Exorcist's 3,000 subscriber <laughs> series may go down in flames. <laughs> so excited about this. Oh, oh it's kind of cool. I got to speak with uh, the developers 
briefly, just kind of a quick interaction on Twitter the other day. That was kind of cool. Just kind of acknowledging the the scope and the beauty of the game. I'd like to know what happened to my electronic. I really needed that. That may that may doom us. Like that may be our doom. Is the fact you don't have that electronic. Did it go to the colony? It did, didn't it? I bet it went to the colony. No? So... Oh man, and this thing takes electronics too, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, let's see here. Ferrite, all this other stuff needs to be a secondary priority. So let's... Do we have any probes left? Yeah, we have a probe. Oh, we don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we don't have much of anything. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Sure it has. I'm surprised more of these haven't happened. 61% on our trust scale. I had a plan, but I think it fell through because we lost our... We lost our electronic. The single thing we needed. People are angry. They should be. Because their administrator is terrible at this. Stability is negative two. And so what will happen is as the stability falls, you'll start to get strikes from your employees. Your um, colonists will stop working. And that is not a good thing at all. I keep looking, hoping that maybe it's still here somewhere, but it really isn't. Well, at least our hull integrity is up, but our ship, our ship integrity is down. And I don't even think we have. Let's see, we can't create the... Um... Oh, there's two electronics there? How come... Okay. We need people to go pick up the electronics and bring them back. <laughs> oh my god, this ship went all the way out there? I mean, it's bringing back silicon, but only 13. That's not going to do us any good. Let's speed them up a little bit. Not making much of a difference. The crew's trust in my leadership is falling. So we did research. I did research a technology, though. One of the technologies is this really cool waste treatment facility, which turns. Uh, waste into electronics so it turns it creates different resources but we can't afford to build it because we don't have the resources to build it again spiral of death it's just a matter of time we may get lucky here it's kind of been the uh, it's kind of been the way of things So the factory won't do anything until it has 30 uh, silicon. If it won't make any kind of electronics until it has that. Apparently there are actual electronics. Really? It's going back out there? God. So I'm going to turn off ferrite together so that they don't bring any back so my other cargo ship is I'm not 
sure what it's doing. Where's my other cargo ship? What is it doing? Waiting to dock? not docking. <laughs> I think our truck, I think we're going to get fired before anything happens. What, uh, 30? Okay, so they got 30 silicon. So maybe that'll help with our stability. Because stability is the big thing. Let's, uh, speed it up so that thing can get here. Okay, I'm on. Well, at least our hull integrity is not an issue at the moment. Alloys are pretty good. Hmm. Okay. So that should be enough silicon to create a, a an electronic. One electronic that we need to construct the alternative life center, which will fix the stability on this side. Won't help at all with the uh, overwork problem, but it'll at least give maybe give us a fighting chance. Come on, guys, we can do better than that. So we're waiting on one more silicon. And there it is. So in three cycles, we'll have our single electronic. And our trust is down to 51%. Don't worry about that. I've played the game when it was at 0.5%. <laughs> Not advised, but it has happened. Yeah. Anyone who tells you they played this game and beat it successfully, everything, without any incident on the first try, is a liar. You're going to die in this game. You're going to have to do it over and over again. It's just how it is. So, people are angry. I understand. I get you. They're overworked. That's why we're trying to build this alternative life center so you guys can go in and pretend that you're back on Earth. And we are almost there. About to have our electronic. Please let this work. <laughs> <laughs> Please let this work. Lose trust in your leadership is yes, falling. I'm aware it's falling. We're trying our best here, okay? No more resources available to mine. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so there's our electronic. They should take it. No! No! That's where it's going. Oh, no! That's what's happening. Oh, that's a disaster.
because I see what's happening now. That is not good. Okay. Can we change? I was going to see if I could change the ship. But apparently not. I don't know why it's not docking. I really don't. I, it's just sitting there. And... I mean, I can't do anything. Let's see if it's... Let's see if it's something like this. So let's move colonists from sector two to sector one. There are 15 of them. This is going to contribute to overwork. I know it. Let's shut this down. And I don't know if I should shut anything else down as a result. Okay, so our trust is kind of flatlined. I'm not angry with this anymore. Population transfer complete. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Okay. It's still not docking. I don't know why. <laughs> transfer colonist from 2 to 1. There's 15. There's not 15. Okay, so now we're going to turn this off. Turn this back on. How many colonists are there? Oh, there's... Okay, there's 30. That's the number we needed. Is it carrying anything? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so they're negative toward me now. But trust has balanced out. Hull integrity has balanced out. And we're just waiting on this electronic. Let's see if we can get our alternative research or our alternative lifestyle center built. Okay, so there's our there's our electronic. Our colony center is shut down, so we shouldn't lose that electronic to that ba that facility. Come on, there it is. There it is. This should contribute to restoring trust and stability in this region or this sector. There we go. It's going up. Robot dude building it. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. There's always something. Okay. Whew. Oh, look at that. Positive trust growth. And they are neutral. <laughs> they no longer want to fire me. It's going to take a long time to rebuild that. And any little thing can... All right. Hull integrity is back up above 700. That's good. Our resources, our alloys are still hurting, but we need a... We need a... Um, uh, factory. That's what we need. Now that we've dealt with that, I'm gonna turn these uh, turn these back on. 
as items that need to be picked up. Okay. Yeah, we'll add this ship to the list. Come on, there we go. How many did we have we delivered what we needed? No, we haven't. What is that ship doing? Okay, so now it finally has the crew members on board and is heading out to the colony. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where today it's going to stop. Oh, my God. So um, just to kind of recap, so we, we got our alternative lifestyle center built, which is, uh, helps stability in Sector 2. Um, it's going to prevent us from being fired anytime soon, but you can see it's already dropped down to 0.8. So it doesn't take much for the trust level from your colonists and your workers to go down. Um, hull integrity is back up above 651. Um, it dropped down to in the 480s, and but I think we're going to be okay in terms of hull integrity. We've got plenty of ferrite, plenty of, of ability to keep pumping out um, alloys at the moment. We'll have to see, though. Um, in the next episode, we should be to the point where we can actually get our colony up and running, and hopefully that'll be able to support us in terms of our resource production, but I don't know. I've never built a colony in Ixion, so we'll have to see how that goes. Hey, everybody. If you enjoy these playthroughs, uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment in the video. Um, these are, uh, I try to do these as regularly as possible and try to make them chill, kind of fun, narrative driven. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'd love to have your support. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care, fly safe, and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.